Hello, I'm Brian Comer with Tobias McCormick and Comer, and I have the privilege of being joined today by Senior Trooper uh, Anna Peoples with the Alabama Law Enforcement Agency. Senior Trooper Peoples, it's so good to have you here. Thank you for having me. Uh, and we are uh, here today to talk about uh, child safety, uh, and particularly as it pertains to cars and, and children in car seats. We've talked a lot, and there's a lot of literature out there about the importance of people wearing seat belts. Uh, but this is something near and dear to my heart. I've got a, a five-year-old and one-year-old. Uh, there are different requirements that are out there for children uh, that y'all run into. And, and could you just kind of tell us generally what the, what the law is and what's the requirements for children in car seats? Yes, sir. So our requirements are for rear-facing child restraints, you're supposed to be 20 pounds or one year of age. Okay, whenever you move above that, it's going to be forward-facing, and it's five years of age or 40 pounds. After that, it's six years in a booster seat, and then you can go into the seat belt version of things until you're 15, and after that, you're considered an adult at 16 in a regular seat belt. Sure, and, and we were talking about this uh, before, um, and before I became a, a parent, I didn't realize uh, the different restrictions, and, and the biggest thing is the size of the child, not just the age, right? Correct. Correct. So like I said, if they've reached that five years of age, but they're very small for a five-year-old, they still have to go by the regulations when it comes to their weight. Okay. Now, uh, we were talking um, before we, we started the video here, and you said that there's really two big things that y'all run into and that unfortunately you see all the time on the road. Uh, tell us what those are. Right. So as a, a highway patrol trooper, what we tend to see on the road when we pull over a car is the ch children have Houdini themselves out of the restraint somehow. They've taken the snaps across or unbuckled themselves, and the parent had no clue or no idea. And so um, we like to encourage maybe periodic safety checks on your children in the back. Uh, if you have a passenger, utilize your passenger for those things so that you're not completely distracted. And then we also run into them not being anchored properly. Your child doesn't only have to be just strapped in, they also have to be anchored correctly in the back seat. And you know, this is something that, that gets to be pretty daunting uh, you know, for new parents or even family members, grandparents, aunts, uncles, who might have uh, the children and, and need to take them around. And, and it's really important to make sure that that car seat is, is properly attached to the vehicle. Oh, absolutely. Um, as an aunt myself, I had to get educated whenever it came to moving my nieces and nephews around. And like I said, there's helpful videos out there. I know you guys have that available to your viewers as well. And um, like I said, just use that time to educate yourself because that's the importance of it. If you are a mom, make sure who you're putting your child into the vehicle with is educated and that mm -hmm. things are done correctly that way as well. Sure, and, and you make a, a good point. You can go to our website, tmclawyers.com, and we have several resources there, including a virtual event. Uh, with, with COVID, we were gonna do it in person, but with COVID, we're gonna have a virtual event, and you can register for that. It's on September the 25th, and go to tmclawyers.com. Uh, and it is basically a webinar where you can make sure that your, your car seat uh, is installed properly. But in addition to that, if, if you can't make the event, um, you know, we're really blessed by the resources that are available Absolutely. now as far as, you know, you can Google the make of the car seat, um, and then it, it has really good instructional videos on how to properly install it. Okay. Um, do you see uh, a lot of times when you say that the, the car seat's not properly anchored that maybe, um, People are just strapping a seat belt across it, or is that yes, the kind of that, stuff that you're seeing? Yes, sir. So that's the kind of things we tend to see is that people are doing the seat belt through the back loops of the seat, of the child cart seat itself instead of anchoring it and then putting the seat belt through the loops that it requires with the seat belt as well. Um, like I said, are they're just simply throwing the seat belt over right. the car seat, um, and that's really scary for the rear facing ones, the small children. Um, Whenever a vehicle slams on brakes, that seat belt, it's not gonna hold it correctly if it's just across the top of the car seat. Mm -hmm. Because like I said, what stops it, what locks it is forward movement with someone sitting upright. Whenever you just strap that seat belt across the top, it, it's not gonna function correctly. Sure. So like I said, without it being properly anchored, it's pointless. Sure, and, and then they become essentially a missile yes. uh, in the event of, uh, of yes. a wreck. And mm -hmm. you know, people don't really stop and think about that, but I mean, even if you're moving at just highway speed, 45 or 55 miles an hour, that's, that's enough if, if the child goes, goes moving to really 
really oh, hurt them. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, and you know, uh, one thing as a as a new parent, I had to find out the hard way. It's also when you put the put the seatbelt in through the loops, it's not enough just to go ahead and latch it. But I mean, you really need to push down on it to make sure that it's tight so that the seat. I believe a lot of manufacturers uh, say that it shouldn't move more than an inch in either direction. Right. You have to pull all that slack out, make sure it locks, and just keep feeding it back until it's at the tightest point you can get it to. Sure. So. And again, uh, for those of you who have questions or, or need to follow up on it, you, know, you can check out our webinar uh, or the, the uh, virtual event that we have on September the 25th, uh, or you can Google the car seat uh, that you have for your child uh, or, or nephew or cousin or, or grandchild uh, to make sure that it's installed properly. So uh, Senior Trooper Peoples, really appreciate yeah. you coming by and talking with us today. and, and uh, Hopefully, uh, folks will keep their children safe and, and stay safe on the roadways. Yes, sir. No problem. Thank you for having me.